Hey guys, Nick and Steve here from Tri Bikes. Super excited today to be launching our 2022 Tri Bike. Our new model's got everything our customers already love, plus we've made a bunch of enhancements for 2022. Let's take a look. So on display today, we've got our most popular version, our hub drive with the flat roads and uh, small to medium hills. We've also got our mid drive, which gets you up those nasty hills. I'm taking a look at the specifics in our hub drive. We've got a really cool finish, as you can see on our plywood. It's a higher quality marine grade than our previous model, and it looks really sexy. And going into the box itself, we've got a really functional floor. It's got like a, a plastic coating on it, really hard wearing, good for when kids drop things and when adults do as well. We've also got on our latch box, a spring loaded latch which will help you get that open and close much easier. One of the features we're really stoked to show you about today was in our previous model, we had the two benches set, set up here for four children. And often we only had two kids or, or one child for that matter, and they could sit here. What we've done with this particular box is instead of having to remove the two screws, like we've been telling parents, we actually came up with a really functional idea and that was just to basically hinge it up like so so you can fit all your bikes uh, scooters groceries for that matter and then it can just simply pop down for that functional seat as well another really cool feature is that on our previous model we used to have our uh, front light on the handlebars we used to get in the way in the way of rain covers when you put them up so we've decided to move that not with one but two front lights and as you can see they're featured now down here on our previous model, we had 1.5 inch uh, tires, but now I've upgraded those to a two inch balloon tire. What that does, it gives you a lot more comfortable, enjoyable and safer ride. It also has Kevlar tubing inside, which helps with bending punctures. Our new model's got some enhanced geometry in the frame design, so we've got a, a more swept back seat post, which makes it more comfortable for a range of riders. Because taller riders will lift the seat and be able to move the seat back, shorter riders will be able to be able to be closer to the handlebars. The other thing we've done is we've changed the handlebars to have a larger sweep on it. And so you can see here they're swept along a lot further back. Makes for a uh, much more comfortable ride, more upright seating position. So you're not leaning forward as much and a, a bigger range of riders can comfortably ride the bike. We're, we're finding that, you know, people well over six foot are comfortable on this and then people in the low five foots are also uh, very comfortable. You can also see we've got some leather handle grips, handlebar grips. One of the other enhancements we've made is with the bumper bars. So the bumper bars are down the bottom here and they stop you um, oversteering the bike. But we've been able to move them out which gives a better turning circle for the bike. So rather than three point turns, uh, you're more likely to be able to uh, make a turn in a single turn. And we've been able to do that without compromising the safety of the bike. We've made some other changes to the frame geometry to make sure that it stays nice and stable. Underneath the bike, we've also got some enhanced steering dampers. Steering dampers uh, keep, you know, when you get up to speed, they keep the bike pointing straight and stop you getting the speed wobbles. And so we've beefed them up and it's a, it's a much uh, stronger steering damper. The old bike had a seven speed Shimano Tawny um, gear set. We've upgraded that to an eight speed Shimano Asira. You can see here, this, it's got uh, trigger shifters, really nice shifters to use. If we go down and have a look at the derailleur, derailleur's all Shimano Asira, eight speed, higher range of gears, so more low range to get you up hills, more high range to when you're on the flats. We've got an upgraded saddle on the new bike. This is a Selly Royale spring-loaded uh, saddle. A bit more streamlined than the old one, a um, bit more durable. Really nice design, comes in black and uh, brown. But yeah, really comfortable saddle. We've done a fair bit of riding with it and, and no sore bumps. Uh, onto the electronics. As we said at the start, we've got a hub drive and a mid drive uh, version of the bike. So I'll talk about that in a sec. This is the hub drive. It comes with a slightly more powerful motor up from 30 Newton meters of torque to 35 Newton meters of torque to give a bit more power up hills. Um, so we've also got a Enhanced battery, same capacity as the old one, but a um, better better casing. The batteries inside here are all encased in expanding foam, so no rattling or no moving around. So it's a really nice, um, sturdy battery. 
and obviously it locks into place like the old one and it slides into this casing really nicely. Onto the mid-drive uh, version of the bike which we call the Electric Plus. Now this has got everything that the other bike that we just went through has but it's got a much more powerful motor. So this mid-drive motor down here, it's a Bafang M400. It's a cargo bike specialty motor. It's designed for cargo bikes and it's designed for hauling stuff up hills. Um, loads of torque, 80 newton meters of torque compared to 35 newton meters of torque in the hub drive version. So twice the power really, but still 250 watts. So still um, legal to ride on the roads in Australia within Australia's e-bike laws. The other thing that the Electric Plus bike comes with is front and rear Tektro hydraulic brakes as standard. These are really nice brakes. They're designed for cargo bikes. They've got these really nice big oil chambers to be able to really stop, stop the bike well. And these things stop on a dime. Really nice levers, these metal levers and front and rear integrated parking brakes. So there's a little lever on both the front and back brake. And once that's locked in, the bike is not moving. Now these hydraulic brakes are a huge um, enhancement for stopping. They're a standard on the Electric Plus, but they're also available as an upgrade on the, on the regular electric bike. On display here, we've got the black and the oak color. We've also still got our Jarrah and white, so we've got the four color options. Uh, we've also got, still got the full range of accessories and they've been redesigned to fit these bikes. They're all available in our store. Thanks for stopping by guys. We hope to see you on one of our truck bikes soon.